welcome back to Pure Lottie. So you will notice I am in a new setting. So I am officially moved into our new rental house. Um, this is my new background. I unfortunately don't have a separate room for my makeup anymore. Um, so I now have to have just a little corner in my room um, to do my makeup which I'm completely fine with. I was very spoiled having a separate room in the last house. Um, but now I have to condense my makeup. So that is super hard. So today I'm going to be sharing a little mini haul with you. So if you want to see what I picked up today, then make sure you keep watching. And if you like today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's jump in. Super briefly, if you see me looking off this side a bit, I'm just trying to make sure um, in the viewfinder that everything looks all good um, in that I'm in focus and everything uh, just until I get used to filming in this room so that is what I'm doing if I look off to this side there so I do apologize so today James Beauty Space and I went to the very first Sephora in Western Australia so we went to the opening party so we actually lined up at like just after 7 a.m. this morning and we didn't get in till just before 10 o'clock. Um, it was super exciting. So we went shopping. We did buy a lot. I have some goodies here that I brought for myself. And then I also um, had a list of things to buy for my mother-in-law as well. So I'm going to show you what she got as well. And then we also did stop in at Mecca because Mecca now has Charlotte Tilbury here. So that was super exciting as well. So we went there as well. And then I will also show you some freebies that we got from Sephora because we were one of the first 300 people. We were actually, I think about 50, 60 in. So yeah, it was super exciting. We got some um, really good goodies and stuff. So yeah, let's jump into the video. So if anything that I have in today's haul you want me to use on camera or give you a in-depth review or anything, please let me know down in the comments so I can make sure to feature it in a future video or pop it in like a speed review or something for you guys. If you see any movement behind me as well, that is the girls, my dogs. Um, Evie's on there asleep at the moment. Macy, I think, is outside, but she might come in and jump up. So the first product is the tattoo liner in the Trooper, yeah, Trooper Black. Um, so I have had two of the mini ones of these, and I do really like it, so I thought I'd pick up a full-size whilst I was there. And I also did pick up one of the smaller sizes of the brown shade. So this one is Mad Max Brown. So yeah, I thought I would pick up one of these soon as I like the brown one. I thought I would try out the brown one. So these products I have tried before. So the next product I picked up is actually from Benefit. And it is the Partners in Brows Um duo set I think and this is in golden blonde so number shade two so this was a set for $59 so it was half price I'm not sure if this is like a set normally um, at this price or whether it was just today because it was opening day but I have never tried any of the Benefit Brow products, so I am super excited to give this a go. So the next product I picked up is from Tarte, and it is the Ultra Creamy uh, Shape Tape Concealer. I picked this up in 12 and Fair Neutral, and I just got the little mini size. So at the moment, I do use the standard Shape Tape, and I use 12B Fair Beige, but I really wanted to give the creamy one a shot, and they had the uh, little minis, so I thought this would be the perfect way for me to try it and see if I like this version or this version better. 
if you want me to do a video comparing the two please let me know um they don't have 12b in store or i couldn't see it online either so i just picked up 12n fair neutral because you know it's very similar in color so the next product i picked up is from sephora and it is a colorful metal effect single eyeshadow and the shade is first light and it looks like this i'm not sure if you will be able to see the gold reflex in there on camera but it is super pretty it almost looks like a pearl with like chunks of like gold glitter in there and i did swatch this in store and oh my goodness it was absolutely stunning so i cannot wait to use this so that is something that's going to get annoyed i do apologize there is open windows in here so the lighting is going to change now unfortunately but I did pick up from Laneige this little lip glowy balm and I do have the standard like pink one. I can't remember if it's like grapefruit or something. I'll pop it on the screen. Um, but I've been wanting to try the purple gummy bear one and I really like these products. Um, it's really good to have on the go. Um, and I also like to keep one in my desk for work because I always get dry lips. So yeah, I really love these products and I've been wanting to try this gummy bear shade for ages. Um, it's always sold out so I was so excited when I saw that it was in store. And the lucky last product I picked up for myself from Sephora is also from Laneige and it is the Lip Treatment of Balm. So this is the uh, little pot that has the uh, little applicator in it and I've been wanting to get this for ages but I wanted to give it a swatch before I did buy it. So I was able to do that in store but I thought this would be a really really good for wearing during the day. I absolutely love Laneige lip line. Um, I use their night sleeping mask. Um, I already use this one so I'm excited to give this one a shot as well. So that is what I picked up for myself from Sephora today. Now let me jump into what my mother-in-law grabbed. Um, so she got a few more products than me um, but she has mentioned that I am okay to film it and if there's something that you would like me to try out she's quite happy to let me have a try of it um, or use it in a video. So if you want to see any of these products as well just let me know. So the first, let's get the eyeliners out of the way. She is obsessed with eyeliners. She has very, very oily eyelids. So the first two products is from Sephora and it's their 12 hour colorful crayon contour pencils or contour eye pencil. So it's waterproof and they're in the shade. This one's soft rose and it's a matte. So really, really pretty. And the other one is in blonde ambition. And I think this one is a shimmery sort of shade, but yeah, really, really pretty shades. So I know she's going to be super excited for those. The next thing that she picked up is from Milk Makeup and it is the Baked Stick Bronzer. Yeah, Baked Stick Bronzer. And it's just a mini version. It's the 5.7 grams. Um, she is a very much a liquid product being a mature skin type and an oily skin type. She's also a very much so a minimal makeup. She doesn't do full glam like I do. So yeah, she's very into, you know, sticks and liquid products. So I know she's going to absolutely love this. The next product she picked up is from Fenty Beauty and it is one of their cream blushes and I picked her the shade Summertime Wine. So this is 08. So it is just a little cream blush and I did go for a darker color. She is a much darker skin tone than I am. So she does have a lot of issues with trying to get the blush to show up on her skin. So I did swatch that and I think that's going to work for her. So I think she's going to absolutely love that one. The next product she picked up is from Nude Sticks. Now I heard from a fellow YouTuber who has oily eyelids as well and she said that these are really really good and the mother-in-law is loving eye pencils so I picked her up the magnetic matte eye color and this is in the shade maroon so it's the matte eye stick 
this is the shade here. So it is sort of like a reddish brown. So I know she's going to absolutely love that. There was only three matte shades in store. And we were thinking of getting all three. But I wanted her to try it first before we go back and purchase any more. And it just gives us another reason to go shopping at Sephora again. <laughs> now her last four products, she really wanted to try Rare Beauty. I have not tried Rare Beauty because... It is more of a minimalistic makeup brand and I am very much a more glam makeup person. So I do want to try these products. So whether you want me to do them on video or not, I'm going to definitely try them still. Um, but I don't think I'm going to like them for myself because I do like full coverage and full glam. So the first product that I picked up for her is the Stay Vulnerable nearly mauve melting blush so it is just in a square box like this and I'm not sure if you will see the shade on the top there and I did swatch this in store and this was really really nice so I think she's gonna absolutely love it again then I also picked up the stay vulnerable liquid eyeshadow this one is in nearly berry now I was gonna get the nearly more for her but I swatched them on my hand and because she is a deeper skin tone I was like that barely shows on me so I think she needed a darker shade so I picked her up nearly berry so this is what that shade looks like. Then I also picked her up the Liquid Touch Corrector Concealer. She picked the shade 200C. So just a nice package like this again. And this is the shade that she picked. And the lucky last product she picked up was the Blot and Glow Kit Retouches. So it is apparently... Um, a translucent refillable compact containing oil absorbing sheets and a radiant powder infused puff for easy touch ups on the go. So she is oily as I said so it sounds like this will be perfect for her. Now I do want to try this as well and see if it will work for my hot flushes. So I will definitely let you guys know if it is or not. Now I did get some freebies from Sephora. So the first 300 people in line did get a eyeshadow palette and I am so excited because it is from Pat McGrath and that is definitely outside my budget at the moment. So I cannot believe that we got a palette from Pat McGrath. I'm so excited about this. So this is the palette here. I'm not going to open it in today's video. I might put a picture up um, of what it looks like, but I will definitely be using this in the near future. I might use it on an Instagram Live or something. So this is the Mothership Sub Subliminal Palette. That's a tongue twister for you. And we got this for free for being the first 300 people in line. So this is super exciting because this is valued at $103 or something, I think they said. So super excited to get one of these palettes. Then if you spent over $150 in store, you also got a deluxe free sample. So I did get two little samples. I got the Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Gel. Um, it is in the shade Neutral Light Brown. And then I also got from my Clarence Paris a Remove Purifying Cleansing Gel. So it looks like this. So that was exciting to get that as well. And then we got this bag full of goodies here as well. None of this is actually makeup, but it is super exciting. So... The first thing that we got was actually this little bag and it had a bottle of water in it and then it had this little makeup pouch and it says contour is my cardio. I think that's super, super cute, but I have, I swear, over a dozen makeup bags and I've already decluttered some. So I think I might pop this in a giveaway because this is super cute, but... I do not need another makeup bag, but yeah, I love the little saying on it. The next thing that we did get in line was a Sephora cup 
and it was actually for a free coffee at a local cafe that was just a few shops down from Sephora and the coffee was really really nice they didn't have any lactose free milk and I am lactose intolerant uh, because of my endometriosis but they had soy and almond milk so I had a soy milk latte and it was absolutely delicious so I was so grateful to Sephora giving that to us for free because we were standing in line for so long and we were so tired because we'd been up for ages I was awake at 4 30 in the morning just so I could get there by 7 so yeah I was super happy with that and then the next thing that we got worth waiting in line was a massive cookie from get chunky so these are massive New York style cookies and I cannot wait to crack this open later um I love cookies who doesn't <laughs> but yeah I thought that was super cute it's got lots of little sparkles and stuff on top and yeah I can't wait to eat it later this was the bottle of water by the way I did not drink it while standing in line because I was like no I'm not I can't go anywhere so I cannot consume anything because I cannot go to the toilet or anything like that. I need to stand in line. So yeah, I didn't drink it but I'll pop it in the fridge and drink it later. So this is the little tote bag. So it's just black and white stripes down the bottom and it has Sephora on it. So then also for being one of the first 300 people, I think it was, if you spent over $150 in store, you also got a makeup bag. So we got this big clear bag with a nice zip on it and it does say Sephora. It's got a handle on top. As I said for the last bag, I really don't need any more makeup bags. So I think I'll probably pop this in a giveaway as well because this looks really nice. It feels really like sturdy and it's quite big. So I think it will fit a decent amount of makeup in it. And the lucky last thing from Sephora, we were standing in the store like looking around um, and we got a travel tumbler that's 350 mils. So it just says Sephora on top. I actually haven't opened it up and had a look at it yet. So this is the first time I'm seeing it too. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is very cute. Oh, I like this. It's a nice black and it says Sephora on it and it sort of has like a satiny sort of finish I think. Um, sort of looks shimmery a little bit. Let's open the top. Ooh, okay so you open the top, this is the lid, this is inside and then you can open this part and you've got the actual thermos part. So it has all the instructions and everything in there as well. Um, but it looks like you can maybe have it have like tea in here um, to infuse it as well, which is really nice. Um, it's just aluminium on the bottom or stainless steel or something. Uh, but this is super cute. I really like this. So as I mentioned at the start, we did also go to a Mecca whilst we were there. Now, Sephora wasn't the only store that opened today. It's just the only store that opened for the first time in WA. Um, there was hundreds of other stores that did open. Uh, the shopping centre that we went to is Karen Up Shopping Centre. And that store had a massive makeover and added a whole pile of new shops. Um, and it was absolutely fantastic. It was absolutely beautiful. If you want to see more of it, head over to my vlog. I will link it above for you because this video will be going up after my vlog. So we went to Mecca and they also had like a little goodie thing as well. So they had a lucky dip if you spent $75 in store. Now, this is the first time we have gone to Mecca since Charlotte Tilbury has been launched in there and we were super excited because we've been wanting to play with some Charlotte Tilbury stuff and like swatch it and purchase it. So I brought the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer and I picked it up in the shade 310. So this is the box. Now I did have the lady at the store open it for me um, just because I wanted to make sure it wasn't broken because it is $74 and yeah I didn't want it to be shattered but this is the case on the outside and then 
this is the inside and I swatch them in store number two could work for me but I found number three a lot more like sun kiss looking and it just felt nicer on my skin um this shade so yeah I picked up number three and I am so excited to have something Charlotte Tilbury in my collection now and I cannot wait to use it I actually just dropped and broke the remaining of my physician's formula butter bronzer so I was actually needing a new bronzer so I'm hoping this is going to replace that um but yeah I'm super excited now this only came to $74, so we needed to spend another dollar in store to get the lucky dip. So I just grabbed at the counter a little face mask. It is the peach and apple mask pack. I've actually used these before and I do really like them, but I think I might pop this one in a little giveaway um, because it's always nice to get a face mask in a giveaway. And then that brought it up to $76. So I was allowed to grab a product from the Lucky Dip. So they were all wrapped up and they were wrapped up nicely with a little bow and everything. But I did open it up to see what I got because I'm too impatient. So inside the Lucky Dip is from Mecca and it is their nourishing cleansing oil. So it's a nice a big container. This is 150 mils and it actually looks really luxe. This was really cool to get and I had an absolute blast of the time. I'm absolutely exhausted now though. Um, I have bruises on my arm um, <laughs> from carrying all the bags and stuff today. Uh, but yeah, it was a really, really good time. So it was very exciting and I cannot wait to go back and keep shopping in Sephora and seeing the makeup in person now because we've always had to shop online and you know that does get frustrating because you can't swatch it, you can't see if it's the right shade for you. So yeah I'm super excited to go back and do another shop. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family in that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Bye!